Hey, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something to watch out for when you are day trading, specifically futures. Um, and it occurs a lot with the index features, so the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. What we're going to be talking about is something that I also talk a lot about on our live streams. They're free. It's every single morning, 8.20 a.m. Central Time here on my YouTube channel. Um, so make sure you subscribe and turn on the little bell notification. Come hang out in the stream if you want to see some live day trading um, and discussion points. So what we're going to be going over is the 15 minute reversal, very simple, uh, concept and tip. And it's not something that you want to take trades off of, but it's one of those things that you want to add to your arsenal in order to have some sort of confluence in the trades that you do want to take what the 15 minute reversal is. And I'm sure there's a million other different names, name, whatever you call it down in the comments below. This is really just something that we're looking for, right? So what it is, is the first 15 minutes of the day. So the market opens at 8.30 a.m. Central Time, right? Um, what we're looking for is the third five-minute candle. So that 15-minute block from 8.40 to 8.45, we're actually looking for the either top or the bottom to be put in. This doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough to where it definitely warrants looking at. So here today, this is the first five-minute of the candle, first five-minute candle of the day called opening range, right? So we put in a high on opening range and we proceeded to dump um, almost 100 points uh, between like within the next 10 minutes, right? So here is the first five minutes. Here's the second five minutes. This is the third five minutes of the 15 minute candle. And you can see on days like today, uh, volume was up at 824, or excuse me, 424. So we pushed up, volume came in at 424. We dumped, right? Volume stayed up top. And then we had another dump. And so a lot of times on this first 15 minute of the day, it happens when we have overnight inventory that's long or overnight inventory that's short, right? So when overnight inventory is long like this, you might see a little push and then we flush and then we continue the trend, right? So inventory is correcting to the downside, meaning everybody that got long on the overnight session is taking profits. We're plummeting, people are shorting, et cetera, momentum builds. But at some point the trend has to continue because the trend is moving to the upside, right? And so we continue to push up and it forms this, what we call a V bottom. Uh, so a V bottom, very steep down and back up. Usually cost off inventory correction and usually pretty early in the day. The same thing happens uh, on the flip side. So if inventory is short on the overnight session, everybody's shorting, you might see a nice little pop up and then a reversal. And so this reversal, a lot of times happens in that first 15 minutes, specifically in that 15 minute candle. So the third candle of the day on a five minute chart, you'll see the top or the bottom be put in. Today's a great example, really nice push to the downside. And then you see it push again with a lot of buying power. When you see this nice big wick to the downside or on the reverse, if you see a really big wick to the top side, you can kind of start making the assumption, hey, we might be continuing the trend here. This might be a V bottom. This is the third 15 minute candle of the day. I'm not necessarily gonna take anything off of that. I should be looking at my other things, uh, whatever your trading strategy is, maybe it's support, resistance, delta, you trade like me, you're scalping, right? Um, but it's something to say, you know, this could be like a lot of times, this is the low point of the day on a trendy day, 15 minute low, a lot of times happens. We're getting really bought up here. Let me look for a little pullback and get long and then just ride it up. That's one way to trade this. Uh, the reverse obviously, uh, would be on the short side, but I just want to make this video because I talk about it a lot on stream and I want to go ahead and clarify what I'm looking at. It's the third five minute candle of the day. Again, a lot of times it's after a nice trendy overnight session. Um, and then we put in a V bottom after a little bit of inventory correction, to the downside, and then we're looking for confluence on our other setups, whether it be through volume or Delta or price action, whatever you're looking at to then take the long off of it. But it is triggering the thought into our head. Okay. This could be the low of day based on how this is buying up. And the fact that this normally happens on a 15 minute candles. So if you found this video helpful at all, make sure you press that thumbs up button down below and press the subscribe button to come hang out in the free live stream chats every single morning, 8:20 AM central time. I will see you there. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.